Hello, my people. Who did you? Who did you? Who did you? Who did you? Me kuna komu, me kui yano. Me kuna komu, me kui toko. Who did you? Who did you? Na who did you? Who did you? Did you don't show? Who did you? Did you don't show? Cindy baby, thanks for coming in guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please share the stream if you can. Let's talk about toxic relationship guys. Share the screen, please, if you can. Give the video a thumbs up as well. Thank you for joining in, guys. I hope you guys are doing great. As for me, I'm doing well. I bless the name of the Lord for today. Thanks for coming in. Guys, please keep tapping the screen. Like the video. Share if you can. Let's talk about Telzik relationship. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I greet you all. Now, welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening with your time. Depending on your time zone, my people, guys, I came across a video, eh? Apart from this video, eh, things, they happen. Yes, when it comes to marriage and relationship, now who cry come out? Now, nah, they know in own. Yes, so now who waiting? Cry come out. Now, nah, they know in own. We've been hearing about how people are buying in toxic relationship because they don't want to leave the relationship because of, ah, they cannot face what people will say about them how people go see them if i come out for my marriage ah, they go talk say hey i talk them why did you go and marry into that family they are not a stay who lie 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 their guests like not the stay ground they don't know that it is beyond that i always tell people that marriage is a parcel until you unveil your parcel you will not know what is inside I'm not talking about package. You might buy something, you order something, you know what is coming. I am talking about parcel that is being delivered to you that you don't know the content. You are not the buyer of the content. That is how marriage is. So sometimes it is not what we see in relationship we get at the long run. That is why it's a parcel. By the time you unveil, you start seeing the content. That is how marriage is. You, We see people admiring people's relationship, people's marriage from afar. I always tell people, stop tapping into people's blessings because you don't know what is inside what you are tapping. Some people will just get married post the sweet life of it and people will start tapping oh i want to be like you when i grow up some people will have children beautiful children i want to be like you when they, i grow up they don't even know whether the children are adopted they don't even know whether the children were being carried by surrogate mothers they don't know they don't even know whether it was um, being conceived through ivf they just want to tap People should know what they tap. It's not everything you tap. In short, stop tapping for people's blessing. Just believe God for your own. So guys, let me play this video. Eh? I came across this video. Toxic relationship. Toxic relationship, guys. People should be very careful of um, the kind of things we, 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 we tap into. Okay? People that, are, that like admiring people from afar. Admire people from afar. You don't know what the person is going through. You just want to be like the person. Whether the person is wetting her pillows in the middle of the night, you don't know. You want to be like the person because of the person is living fake life. Okay? I can't even see the video anymore, my people. So, that is it, oh. Oh, I wanted to play this video for you guys to hear her confession, but I can't find the video anymore. To hear from the horse's mouth about toxic relationship and marriage. Guys, please share out the stream, share out the live stream. Please, I beg of you, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up of... 
give me a thumbs up for this video please why i look for the particular video i'm surprised i can't even find it again Oh my God, guys. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't even see comments here, guys. I can't see comments. Jesus Christ. How did this video just vanish from this phone? It just surprised me. Something I wanted to show you guys to see with your eyes. The way she flaunts herself to the guy she was dating, she carried herself by herself to the guy and was cohabitating with the guy, which is a red flag for women, guys. If you have sisters who will leave their dwelling and go and stay with a man, discourage that, okay? At least talk. Make it no say you don't talk. Discourage that to my people. Than uh, you to um than for you to um I can't find that video, but let's talk about this. Let's talk about this one. Okay, how much for new phone again? He said the phone will be say cost in another forty-five thousand. Okay. Bella Blond. I still said I'm the forty-five thousand era. Okay, send me where you don't do rich. That's why when he called my brother, you know the answer call. This one is toxic family. You know they pick up. Stop so, giving people money to build houses for you I can't abroad. Tell this to my girlfriend, if you my want to build, here. save your money so and go okay. yourself. I said you have good family your members. Not far from my village, make her papa go meet my brother. So, I can't say her papa. Papa is there. Is he say, my brother, where, where are you for me? It's my brother and where are you for the drink? Guys, please share all this Even phone, gather please. friends for there. So, the man called it like, ah, come show me your sister land. Where she for the do something. Guys, let me just pause this video for a while okay this is a nigerian girl who trusted her family back home in nigeria she based in um somewhere in europe and she was sending money to africa nigeria to be precise so that the family members including her mama when he used make was born and come life for oh, hey that is why they said don't trust anybody even our mama follow for this plot, my people. My brother said now so okay, continue. I can't take care of another person. Now whether na na he I can't say come. Say make it come the help and they do something. Blah blah blah. Mm, now I say okay, fine. I tried to call my brother since that day. You know pick. You know pick my call. I called my mom. Ah, where my brother? You know pick. For like that was this that this was November here. Oh, November here. Not be the first time we be saying family. November twenty twenty two. I don't to be here. Like I don't feel I don't, today. I know I just sit down. I don't feel. I don't feel bearing me again. I don't feel bearing me again because it's in your heart. My feelings. <laughs> later, later, my brother, not drop him. Okay, fine. Okay, that's why we say you don't do. I don't forget the money we be say you chop. Where you do rich. <laughs> Even foundation, foundation. When my brother tell me say Bad foundation is seven hundred thousand naira, I send my brother the money. Okay, you not still do the foundation? Where you never? You say you don't do rich. You don't even do rich there. Come on, foundation. When we say you still like seven hundred thousand naira, you not fit do one. Okay, give me the the paper of the land. You say a hundred by hundred. Now you buy. Okay, give me the papers. Go give my mom the papers. <laughs> he not still give. He say, he say, that's why they all our money. Like, which money me where they feed you? 
which money I call they owe you. He call they tell people that one so that make people not to make people not to enter the case. But but later later I can't try to involve the police. So with the police now, you can't try manage, bring paper, come outside. Paper, what you bring? My brother, you don't quick. I'm just say half of the land for that one. Jesus. I still forget. You say half of the land. Now you yes, so. I don't say that this one I like, but there's time for everything you get. Even you yourself, you did cry. So, my brother. He managed to bring the paper. I cry, but I don't still to cry. I just still live on. I just no say, ah, even if I want to do something, money not be my problem. I just, mm. the person will be say, you will back me up. And I just, that one, I just, I just been in before. My sister, shut up your mouth. Money not so be your problem. Why you can't cry come out to social uh, media? What are you talking about? Money is not your problem. And you are crying to social home. media. Make to let us know that you are from a positive I don't try so many times. Make that say do something for me. They don't do anything. I feel your pain, but that comment, I don't like it. Make I try. Make I just. Money is not your problem. What do you mean? My parents, you get so see their face. Make I come back. I bet it gets finished. So just today, I can call my sister. I can call my sister, my sister family, say, hey, no come, no do this one. And don't say, ever no tell come, your no family come. members and friends you are traveling to Nigeria. They don't dare it. it. Take them on our ways. Don't dare it. Take them on our ways. Even those from good family. Say, hey, they, they don't need to I know. Do something, I know build house finish. Say, make guys, no you come. guys are not liking this thing. Why, please? Like, to please. make sure on a day good place, even the apartments where we say everybody they, na me they support, na me they back on up, make una say help me do something, support, na me they back on up, make una say help me do something. <laughs> Wait, see, what can't do for house? Eh, hey, it's better you stay there. Wait, see, what can't do for house? Say, I wish you just good now. You just buy house. Imagine. You just buy house. Because you just block the money. Then you just know, say, if you just call, you call, you call, meet your, your house. And we say, you buy. After all, the fuck up. When we say, now nah, don't fuck me up. So, make I still manage. Make I still go buy house for that to stay. <laughs> make I buy house for that to stay. Toxic relationship, like, toxic we, we family. Like, bro, like, how now do they get good family? Like, how? How now? Because normally they see videos like that, so we say so many girls, they run man. I would just they wonder why person could just they cry for because of because you lose property because they don't help you do something. Huh? Give them more life. Thank you. Whoa. So guys, so as I was saying, young guys, toxic family, don't ever tell your family members if you are traveling far away from Europe to Africa, take them on our ways. That's another red flag from this girl. She made a mistake. Number one, sending money to Nigeria. Hello? Sending money to Nigeria. She made a mistake. I see that is not enough. She also told them she's coming. When they have expects, do you think they will want you to come because of the big game? Because definitely if you reach home, there will be a big fight and it might even involve the police to arrest your brother even your mother all these our bad mothers that are aiding and abating crime criminal acts your daughter is in europe then you now use that your dash cow
as a cash cow. I don't know. I'm accepting. I'm accepting the request. It's not coming up. I don't know why. I'm accepting the request. It's not coming up. My people. Your mother too self her own nine wars pass. They should go and do DNA to know whether that is your real mother. Family, they chop money. Oh, there's nothing wrong in that. Oh, who say family? You no, know, they eat their children money when you send to Africa. That is a big lie. They, they eat, but eat with wisdom. Because now we are person, they walk, now they chop. Now make a call and walk, chop. Eat with wisdom. But for you, eating millions of naira, your person, you caught your own blood from the same bloodline sent to you. The person trusted you because now trust, they make us number one. To even they send money back to Africa. If you don't have trust for anybody, if you don't have trust for your friends, if you don't have trust for your relative, if you don't have trust for your uh, your family members, you will then not want to send money abroad. This young lady had trust. That was the reason she sent money to them. And at the end of the day, what they betrayed that trust. The one when they even pay me reach my bone, eh? Like say I know them, eh? Is the mother. The mother. Mother that carried a child in the womb for nine months through conception, through uh, delivery, um, you can't breastfeed speaking, can't try to stop your picking breast, all those things are pain. So, labor, delivery, everything at the end of the day, you do this to your child, your own child, because you are expecting millions from her as a monthly salary or what, even though the person they do akuna. Even though the person they do are kuna, una go come do that kind of thing. Let's continue. Come back home until I buy house before I will come back home. Upon the fuck up we say, una fuck me up. Una still say until I buy I, because this call today not be make them not say not lie. I confess one of my girlfriend join my sister. Make sure, make sure they hear with say my own family. They tell me. Because the thing really pay me. I try to bear up. I don't fit. I don't fit bear up. Mm. I sit down like this. My leg God is shaking. God will shake. punish any family like, member family that is like this. this. Like, how oh God, God. Sometimes I don't see whether now those spirits go me or they pick me up from somewhere. You see what I, I was just know. saying? This will not be the right time for me to come home. Because they have eaten her money. That is why they said she should not come. And she telling them she's coming back to Nigeria. She made a very big mistake of her life. Who say me now normally? Who say ah this girl go go not do something? No, we say God. Guys, I'm not seeing comments. So I don't know why you. I don't know. I'm not seeing comments. I'm not seeing likes here. God, they by my side. I don't just know why. Okay, for family to stay, for, for, for family to, to stand, oh God, I don't know how Una did they get her, there's so many sweet videos online, maybe some people they post about their mom if they reach home, how everybody to they embrace them, but for me, they don't chop. And this same family will be the people that will say, ah, my picking that abroad for 100 years, donkey years, uh, and so many years. The child cannot do anything back home in Africa. These same bad, toxic parents. These same bad, toxic family members. These same bad, bad, toxic and wicked brothers and sisters that are not opportuned to come abroad. They will still be the one scandalizing your name, scandalizing your name, tarnishing your image. You there Europe for donkey years, nothing to show for. And you are managing, they hustle, they send money back home to make sure, say, you put smile on their faces. Because let's come to think of it. People that are building houses back home in Africa, I'm talking about the single ones now. Maybe the single mothers or a single girl that is not married or a bachelor. I'm not talking about married ones. Okay, that you are single, so you have the right to to do whatever you want to do with your building. Okay, so most at times, all these people that are not married in the diaspora that build uh, properties back in Africa, sometimes they they are doing that because of the love they have for their blood. You understand? You know, when you are married, you are under a man's roof. It is you and the man that we 
come to an agreement what to do with the property that is there. And sometimes when men are controlling, they will not want family members to get involved when it comes to their a property or their uh, uh, apartment for rent okay but i am talking about single person like this girl now that is not married she wanting to build those uh, uh, accommodation in nigeria definitely maybe she want to rent some and she we also want to put her, her mother or her family her siblings in one of the apartments so what wrong have she done She's not under man's control now. This one, her own money, her own hustle. What wrong have she done by sending money back home because of her trust? And they tell people, eh? Even me, when they talk for yourself, I don't go do them. So what thing I don't go do, I don't go encourage my enemy to do it. Don't ever send money to people abroad because and I know we be the last thing where you go come they cry your eyes out by that time eh, it's too late to cry when the head is cut off there are lots of people that have gone back to nigeria eh? then as they reach nigeria they not see property then they buy heart attack buy them because of trust you know what is apart from the 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 the, the 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 money or the properties that they they did not see is that trust or even people they call them betrayer of trust. When you trust somebody, you trust the person with everything within you. There are people that trust their friends with everything with their full chest than to even trust family members. Because they go feel say nothing, eh? their friends not go feel disappoint them. But come to think of it, too. if family members, people you call your own from the same bloodline could do something like this to, to you, then is it outsider that you can trust? Now outsider will go come trust. Many people they learn from people's mistake, but people no go know. Now look at what she said. She said she used to see people on social media, the ones that are celebrating in good faith, the ones that are crying that the family and friends ate their money, but she never knew her own family would do like this. Sister, obey. Oh, we are come from. We say obey. Oh, it don't read. It don't be because. Learn from people's experience. Don't wait until something happens to you before you get sense. Use people who won't take get sense. If you are in diaspora and you are on this live stream, except you come for good homo, but what is constant in life is change. You and I can change from good to bad. We can also decide to change from bad to good. We can decide to change from bad to worse. Change is what is constant. That is why they said don't vouch for anybody. Don't even vouch for a child you have in your womb because you don't know whether as you are bringing that child to planet Earth, you, you might even buy during child delivery. Do things your way. Save your money in diaspora. When you are ready to build, go back home. When the money finishes, then you come back. Not they send money to people for Nigeria, I mean, they build a house for you. I'm not talking about maintenance, so I'm talking about building of houses. I'm talking about buying of land. They go dupe you. Then go, they go kill you like they will drain you financially because they have this mentality in Africa. Thank God I don't have it before I, I am privileged to live there. Okay? But most Nigerians, they have this mentality that if you are in the abroad, the white man's land, you are picking money. You know the Nitsosi person, eh? You see when you on tap, eh? The way we on tap and there is pressure. Picking money. You know the Nitsosi person, eh? You see when you on tap, eh? The way we on tap and there is pressure. From that tap, now so they go feast, now so the money they flow put, 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 like this. They know they think re reason say suffer day, oh. they know the reason say uh, cold day the place, oh. they know the reason say ah, you know, easy. Uh, all this uh, uh, running around for if you are not uh, mobile, you have to uh, get up, wait for bus, timetable, all those kind of things. We know they do for Nigeria, Nigeria are easy come, easy go. But developed country, you go follow their rules and regulations. They're not a reason all that one. Their own be say, billionaire are soccer, the money don't come. Make you they, 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 they regard the money. That is how they are. And it is very bad. It's not a good thing. If somebody should pass through Mediterranean Sea, 
risk his or her life, take through Libya with, uh, how do they call these people, Ghana, uh, uh, Ghana Boga, how do they call them, risk their life, enter Europe. Destiny permits them that at the end they will see the promised land that they have been believing God for back home. Then Unakone treats them like this. I, I, I make some people, eh? They go, they go, even they talk, say, in short, eh? They don't block alterize all family members. They don't have access to them. I have seen lots of comments like that. When I do videos like this on my YouTube channel, people come and drop messages. I weep for Nigerians. Nigerians are suffering. We are suffering. And because we are suffering, some of our family members and friends back home, they want to take that opportunity of you that is in the abroad to drain you. If you do, they don't manage yes, you they abroad, they don't even know whether all things are well with you, whether you have document to work. They don't they regard you. They don't they tell you problems when they happen for Africa. We're not we they're not supposed to even tell you. They don't they tell you. What am I trying to say here? Know the kind of family you come from. Take your time to read your family. Study your siblings like book. Study your siblings like book. If you have siblings that truly love you, they don't they hide them. You go, no. If you have siblings that are there for you, when they get the problem, then you go, no. If you get siblings with business because of your money, then they like you, your family members because of money, you go, no. If you have family members that want to use your head, your brain, your finance, you go no, except you are not Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you, my love? I'm fine, thank you. Good. What are you up to tonight? What did you say? I said, what are you up to tonight? Okay, what am I up to? Yeah, I'm just uh, discussing about um, uh, social life and then uh, what's happening in the country today. Uh huh. In our today's world, that's what I'm talking about. And um, the story I'm talking about is something that uh, concerns where I come from, Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. How uh, a Nigerian sent uh, money to her family members back home because she's based in Europe. So she sent huge, she has been sending huge amounts all the time to her mother, her siblings to help her buy land, build houses. And yeah. at the end of the day, she find out that they did not do that. They ate all the monies. So she cried out on social media that um, this is what her mother, including her brothers, did to her. So that is what well, we are what talking did, about. What did they do with the money? So they didn't. They 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 they, they spent didn't it? buy the property. They ate the money, because they believe that she is making a whole lot of money abroad. So they ate oh, the right. money. They were deceiving her all this. Why the brother was That's deceiving it. her because she trusted them. That's terrible. So when she when she she noticed a foul play, she now decided that she want to travel to Africa. So she and bought a ticket. Yeah, she bought a ticket. And another mistake she made, she called her sister and told her that she is planning to come to Nigeria. The sister said, no, don't come. Because all of them are in the business of eating her money because they know that if she comes to Nigeria, it will be a big problem and it will involve the police. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. So that was, yeah, that was the reason she cried okay. to social media that this is what her own blood Thank you, to man. her, including her mother. That's terrible. That's it's it. That's, that's terrible. What, man. That's what that's most tough. of us. That is what. I'm sorry. That is what most of us, the black skinned, are passing through in Africa. You work hard for your money. You send your money to your family members to help you do something as big as acquiring property. Yes. At the end of the day, they will not want to do it. Terrible. Um, yes, so that's what we are talking about. Thank you for joining in. You're okay, my love. I love hearing about interesting things. Um, I'm just going to throw in another treasure box for everybody because I love you. <laughs> what Everyone is that? Is, that a, is that a shop you are? No, this is my house. 
And what's all that? <laughs> Is that wallpaper or what? Is that wallpaper? No, it's my children. What? My children. I'll show you. Hold on. Now, this is my children. This is my eldest. This is Tiffany. This is Tiffany. This is uh, shocking now. Is this not a uh, shocking that after this movie, Charles mm -hmm. played? Well, this is our son. God. And then you got the husband, you know, the This is shocking now. This is shocking now that after yeah. then, this movie, Charles play, right? Yeah, the pinhead. Hey, my you got also the little Annabelle here, my love. What's that about? So where did you get uh, where did you get all this from? Um from the internet. Okay. Corella Deville. <laughs> okay. I like Chucky's. Yeah, I've watched the movie Child's Play when I was still a growing up child. Child's Play. Shocky. His tongue does move, but he's dead at the moment. Um, but yeah. Well, I'm doing very well in this battle, my love. Well, anyway, I always tell people, do things that makes you happy. Exactly. I'm not harming I'm anybody, my love. Yeah. Do things that makes you happy because life is too short. Exactly, my love. I agree. Yeah, okay, audience, please let me see. I, you know, I said that I'm new on TikTok and there are some things that I don't see understand rightly. I don't see comments. I don't know why I don't see comments. I don't see comments. I'm only I'm playing a game. I didn't even know. I don't see comments, guys. Guys. I don't know. I'm sorry. You, you might be dropping comments and you think I don't respond. It's just because I don't see comments. I don't know why I don't see comments. And I've put on the comment icon button. It's on. So that's that, guys. So let's continue. Oh, my money finished. I know quarry. I know this. I still use my own money buy tickets. Said I say, ah, I didn't come so so time. Oh. Now, if you tell me, say, it good, make you just buy house. Buy house before you come back home. <clears throat> now they see I'm Nigerians. I don't cry my eyes. <clears throat> Stop giving people your money. Go to Nigeria to do whatever you want to do and come back. Custom hair care that's available. Okay. Stop giving people money. If you have money, if you have huge projects to get money, they had though. I don't know of other people. My own money to make money eh? and they get and they do and like this pium and they sweat. So not be soft uh, touch as they do like some people like hush puppy children and all that that they say now uh, uh, how do they call them soft touch a be soft whatever to make genuine money they had so that is how you should use wisdom to spend your money as well. Now this one don't cry out to oh. it's everywhere now but tomorrow now another person will still cry out they will not listen they will not hear they will still cry out. And say family members ate their money. Family members duped them. Family members did not buy land. Family members did not buy house. They sent millions of naira to. Family members did not do this. Family members did not do that. Now, the video is everywhere. Oh. I have brought it now to our awareness now. But people no go still here. People no go still here. My people. So that is what a Nigerian lady, young Nigerian lady that is not married, a single mother is going through all her hustle in vain just because she's from a family.
Then tomorrow now, if she decides not to block everybody, block their ass, this our useless and wicked mentality, then go to say, ah, ah, no, you know, now you too do now, now your mama na mama na mama, papa na papa, sister na sister, family na family, oh, brother na brother, oh, you don't need to do this now, and we know it is painful, but forgive, to forgive is divine, to for air, eh, eh, I didn't talk, to air is human, and to forgive is divine, now so them going to speak all the parables, but when this girl is crying her eyes out, now they go into depression, or they sleep for night, they think of the millions of naira that went down the drain. Eh? They're not, they're not they see saying, mama, na mama. When I see them, they're not they see. You had somebody's money, even went as far as even selling part of the land. As if that is not enough. You've been deceiving your own sister. Eh, hey, Abba, people get mind shot. People get mind. When a tango say Nigeria, eh, that country will be say and eh, gone. Eh, it's not allowed. Legal like as um, America day. Therefore, they four people anyhow, and they are ready to take the repercussion. People that have mind, when they know that they've invested millions of naira for them to come and see their property, them they, 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 family members are telling them story that touches the heart. Eh? They will just gonna go and uproot the egg bay from where they kept it eh? and for that person. Had it been it's like America where 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 to 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 it's it's legalized. Whether you people like it or not, unfortunately I can't see comment eh? but I will tell the truth here. Eh? Waiting bad bad waiting bad bad though waiting not good not good Eh? The family people, they effort big time and they are wicked, toxic family people. May God not ever allow us to come across toxic people. Because when we are with toxic people, we do toxic things. Yes, we do toxic things. This girl now that is crying her eyes out now, it's just because she finds herself in this predicament. And if care is not taken, if friends are not there with her to hold her and she cannot control her emotions, before you know, she might do something silly. That is where the toxic things comes in. Eh, my people? It's not good though. Maybe people change. I don't know. I know that everything in life is vanity. Vanity upon vanity is vanity. We all came to planet Earth and one day we will exit planet Earth. But the legacy we leave behind is what matters. That when you die, you are die with you, you are dead with a, a, a good name. People will know that you died living good legacy people will know that you died leaving yourself good name good credits not bad name when they mention your name they, 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 they go talk say uh, um, no this person no follow okay so that is for that so let me also show you toxic people who ended their lives because they choose to live that kind of life Okay, they choose to live that kind of life. Come in, guys. Toxic people. This video we highlight top this 10 criminals in the history of Nigeria. Lawrence Anini, aka the law. Lawrence Anini remains the most notorious armed robber to have terrorized the country. Report has it that he was a Nigerian bandit who caused havoc in Benin City in the 80s together with his accomplice, Mondi Oshumbo. Lawrence Anini was popularly known as the law or Obibo, who was majorly known as a driver for gangs, criminal godfathers, and armed robbers. It was reported that he and his gang members began operations as car hijackers, bank thieves, and robbers of buses. Reports also have it that Anini and his gang members successfully robbed 12 banks and killed 18 people in the process. Their level of confidence was so high that they went about throwing money at market women in order to gain popularity. After being apprehended, Anini and his gang members were found guilty and were sentenced to death by firing squad. <laughs> Ishola Oninus, 
see, like Anini, Dr. Oyenisi was a robbery generalismo that held the western part of the country in the jugular. Oyenisi was a cold-blooded arm robber who held sway in the early 70s. He was eventually apprehended and executed on September 8, 1971 at the famous Bar Beach witnessed by about 30,000 Nigerians. Seen for his supernatural power, it was hard to believe Oyenisi could be captured. At the nadir of his criminal escapade, he was reported to have boasted that bullet has no power over me. His last robbery operation was at Wahum Factory in Ikeja in March 1971, where he and his gang members stole a sum of £28,000 and killed a police officer in the process. He later died that same year. Dr. Ishola Onyenusi will forever be remembered for his boldness and arrogance when it comes to robbery. Shinarambo. Shinarambo hailed from Abiyokuta, Ogun State. Shinarambo was another fearsome criminal in Nigerian history. He was a prolific terror in the 90s and the brains behind many attacks in the southwest where he robbed and killed with impunity. He was reportedly on his way to Lare and Waju Motors to buy a Pathfinder SUV when he was apprehended by the police at the Ojota New Garage. He wanted to disarm a policeman questioning him over a lot of money in his car trunk when another officer at the other side of the was apprehended by the police at the Ojota New Garage. He wanted to disarm a policeman questioning him over a lot of money in his car trunk when another officer at the other side of the road shot him. Another account has it that the person killed was not the real Shinarambo. A repentant criminal, Matthew Onuwani Femi, who claimed to be the real Rambo, is now a man of God. Meanwhile, while some report has it that he died while in operation, others said he died as an ordinary man. Whichever way, he died while he was not using his charm, as he was known to be a demigod while he performed operation on busy highways. Derry Kowamama, Koko Dili Ndiwe, also known as Derry Kowamama, was also one of the deadliest armed robbers to have terrorized Nigeria. In the early 2000s, the 22-year-old Derry Kowamama was infamous in the eastern part of the country, taking after the likes of Anini and Oyenusi. A very popular Southeast armed bandit, Koko Dili Ndiwe, was given the title the King of the Underworld. Residents of Onicha, a commercial place in Anambra State, were the set of people who experienced his onslaught the most. According to sources, Koko Dili in Dewey and allegedly murdered over 100 people, which included about 25 police officers. He was known to be a merciless arm robber who robbed buses with his gang members. Eriko was arrested on July 3rd, 2001 on his way to Onicha from Agbo in Delta State, while he was on an operation. The Pakasi boys, who were known for their glory justice system, paraded Eriko Wamama around Onicha, and they finally beheaded him in an open square while declining requests from the Nigerian police to bring him to their custody. Mighty Joe. Mighty Joe, whose real name is Ishaka Bosari, was the second in command to Oyenushi. Mighty Joe had in his camp ex-soldiers who were demobilized, very adept at handling guns and other deadly weapons. The gang ran riot on the nation, particularly the southwest, robbing and killing without let. He operated at his own time and was even known to be a deadlier version of Oyenushi. The nabbing of Mighty Joe was very dramatic. One of his previous victims recognized him and alerted the police. He was taken away into police custody without any fight and later executed. Abu Bakr Shekau. Abu Muhammad Abu Bakr bin Muhammad al Shekawi, popularly known as Shekau, was the leader of Boko Haram, who held Northeast, especially Bornu states, to ransom for years. Please, guys, tap, tap the screen. The tap the screen for Muhammad likes, Yusuf, please. Until 2009, when the later was executed. On more than one occasion, the Nigerian government claimed the military killed Shekau, only for him to reappear in viral videos, making more threats and boasting of his criminal process. For instance, Nigerian authorities believe that Shekau was killed in 2009 during clashes between security forces and Boko Haram until July 2010 when Shekau appeared in a video claiming leadership of the group. His group raided communities, took over towns, and abducted locals, including children. The 2014 abduction of Chibok schoolgirls remains one of the cruelest attacks by Boko Haram. An investigation by the Wall Street Journal, backed by recent reports by Nigerian officials, said that Shekau killed himself by detonating a suit side vest following his running battle with the leadership of a splinter terrorist group loyal to the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. ISIS. Shekau's rival, Abu Masab al-Banawi, also confirmed that he killed himself. 
Ghana. Tewasi Akwaza, well known as Ghana, was a most wanted criminal and head of a militia group in Benue State, terrorized Kasina, Ala, Ukum, and Logo local government areas for more than a decade. But his criminal activities peaked between 2015 and 2020. His gang invaded communities and kidnapped residents at will, collecting millions of naira in ransom. Ghana was also accused of massacres, assassinations, robbery, castle, rustling, terrorism, and murders. A bounty of 50 million naira was placed on his head after several failed attempts to track him down. He was eventually murdered by the Nigerian army after he turned himself in for amnesty on September 8, 2020. Gokodo. Abiodun Egunjobi, a.k.a. Gogodo, was the new version of Anini, the notorious arm robber and ex-convict. Gogodo constituted a major security threat in Lagos and other southwestern states for many years. Growing up in a slum to become a robbery kingpin, Gogodo was a nightmare for the police for about 14 years until his arrest on August 1st, 2013 by the defunct Special Anti-Robbery Squad of the Lagos State Police Command, led by the now suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abba Kiari. His arrest was well celebrated by the command. He was also known as the one-eyed assassin who killed without mercy and did all sorts of atrocities. Evans, known as the one-eyed assassin who killed without mercy and did all sorts of atrocities. Evans, the most recent on the list of top criminals to have terrorized Nigeria, is Chukodi Onwamadike, popularly known as Evans, fondly referred to as the billionaire kidnapper because of huge ransoms he collected from relatives of his victims and his opulent lifestyle. Evans, a smart and crafty kidnapper who evaded arrest for four years, was on a most wanted list in three states, Lagos, Edo, and Anambra states. He also worked with a soldier who acted as his informant in some of the kidnapping operations he led. He collected up to one million dollars in ransom. He was arrested in 2017 in a joint operation by the Lagos State Police Command and the Inspector General of Police Intelligence Response Team, led by suspended DCP Chari, who was the head of the unit at the time. Bado of Ikorodu, he dealt specially in Ikorodu axis of Lagos State while molesting children and women as well as robbing people. Ibado of Ikorodu terrorized Ikorodu for a long period of time while escaping attempts by the police to convict him even after he was arrested multiple times. However, on one occasion where he got released by the police, the Ikorodu community reportedly became courageous and set the Bado of Ikorodu on fire. They decided to put a stop to the terror themselves. If you want to see more interesting videos, even way better than this one all you have to do so guys that is it crime does not pay okay nigeria history when it comes to criminals right from anini to evans the kidnapper crime does not pay guys guys thank you for coming in thank you thank you thank you as i said i cannot see comments i don't know why i'm not seeing comments okay i don't know why i'm not seeing comments tiktok i don't know why tiktok is too difficult for me to to uh, understand i'm not seeing comment to my people eh i'm not seeing comment i don't know even the likes i'm not seeing likes okay guys thank you for coming in for those of you that came to join me i do really appreciate you guys so I go now. Thank you. Goodbye and good night.